All right, everybody. Welcome, welcome uh, to day two of the Coinot Classic. Uh, this will be my last game in this marathon. And this was not originally on the schedule. This uh, was one of the games added because um, one of our uh, fellow arcade gamers, uh, Myung, a.k.a. Totoro Slayer, had originally submitted a couple games for this marathon, but was not able to... Uh, was not a He had prior commitments, so... Uh, this was one of the games added on, and uh, I'm glad it's in. This is another uh, kind of wacky beat-em-up, and it's also kind of hip-hop theme. You can kind of tell from the soundtrack here, and also some of the way that, um, some of the dialogue. You can tell they're clearly trying to tap into that. Let's just let the intro play out. What? <laughs> you got a bomb in your park. Yep. That's what they're going for here. This was right around the time that, you know, hip-hop you know, hip was kind of, like, in its initial phase of breaking into the mainstream fully. Like, this came, you know, around the same time as MC Hammer and Vanilla Ice, so... It seems to be what they were going for here a little bit. Anyway. They're supposed to say check it out, but it doesn't play the whole sample unless you put in uh, more than one credit. So there's four characters here from left to right. It's Gung Ho, FF, King, and Buster. And the character that I use in this always is King, the big dude. The middle two characters are the top tier ones. I'll explain that as we go along here. And we'll, we'll let the intro play out again because why not? And yes, this game is actually called Dynamite Demolition Crew. That is the full name of it. So uh, we're going to see lots of big boots, lots of knees. Once there's only two enemies left on the screen, you can uh, scroll the screen forward. Like so. So you're seeing me do this running drop kick here. That's going to factor in a lot. Because it's one of your only good methods of crowd control in this game. So most people who play this game for the first time, they uh, try to play it like Final Fight, just do punch combos, and it doesn't work. Because the problem with this game is like all your ground attacks, your jump attack, all of that stuff, they can only hit one enemy at a time. Watch this. You stun an enemy, press both buttons to do a giant swing, and then we set this up. And they're all gonna go down like bowling pins. So that's what you have what you have going on here is the running special has splash damage. Okay. See what I mean there about only being able to hit one enemy at a time? That's the thing that makes this game so challenging, and so uh, unfun to people who play it for the first time or so. You rely a lot on your jump attacks and your throws. Pick them up, pick them up off the ground and throw them, and you're running special. Throws and running specials are the only things that can hit uh, multiple enemies at a time. And yeah, running specials splash damage is great. I'll rely on that heavily throughout this game. Pick up the knife. The knife does a lot of damage when you throw it. So one of the main tricks to know for this game also that's not immediately obvious is the fact that Um, what was I was going to say, one of the tricks that's not immediately obvious about this game is the fact that the game will only send two enemies to attack you at a time. Anyway, we're about to get to the boss now. So do a running drop kick. You are in for the rotten, so this is our second game in the marathon with a Freddie Mercury knockoff who uses tonfas. Shout out to Eagle. Fortunately, he's easy. You just get off Axis, then you jump up and jump kick him, OTG grab, and just uh, repeat that. Okay, very solid stage one there. Happy with that. 
I'm gonna play it a little bit safer in this run than I would in a, like, a world record speedrun attempt. But yeah, Cheech, Marin, and Freddie Mercury combined there. It's pretty great. This game has a lot of quality voice acting, too. There's plenty more where that came from, trust me. So now we're in for stage two, and stage two is uh, basically an auto-scroller. Like, everything here runs on a fixed amount of time. Like, it takes a fixed, like, it takes a fixed amount of time for you to uh, transition to the next screen after this one. And then when you get to the next screen, it takes a fixed amount of time to transition to the boss. Also, Sky High Toss. Press both buttons when they're, when they're knocked down, and you do that. It deals slightly more damage than the regular OTG grab, but it takes so long for them to land that it's near useless in a speedrun, sadly. Which is a shame, because it's definitely got to be like the coolest move in the game. This section will give us a good chance to use it, though. So I'm going to try to kill as many enemies as I can here, because each enemy you kill is worth one point. And in this game, you get an extra life for every hundred points. So there I will use the Sky High Toss, since again, this is an auto-scroller anyway. And see, we're gonna about to run up, we're gonna go uh, run up here. Yep. So this will take a fixed amount of time from here until the boss appears. And then after we beat the boss, there's actually a fixed amount of time until the level ends too. So like I said, this entire stage is effectively an auto-scroller for speedrunning purposes. Anyway, so you have a lot of different normal attacks in this game. You have light attacks that are just uh, your neutral, like neutral attack button, no direction. And yeah, that guy just fell into the hole. You can easily bait the enemies here to fall down, but the problem is you don't get points for that. So I try to avoid it unless it's the really hard enemies, which will come later. The white karate guys are no big deal. The karate guys in red who will come later are a huge problem, though. Okay, I actually got hit by a blue knife guy. That's embarrassing. This is actually bad. Holy shit. Okay, I'll just I'll just use them for defense. We are behind schedule here in fighting enemies. Don't worry though, there is another health pickup to come later. Just red karate guys are problem. They kind of fly all over the place. They're really nasty. I'll bait their counter attack to break out of stun, and then just do one more hit to kill them. Four hits and then a jump kick. So. You have your neutral button attacks, which are a light attacks, and then you have up an attack and down an attack, both of which are separate uh, heavy attacks. And those guys I definitely want to lure into the hole, because those are the toughest enemies right there. Red Karate Guy and Gold Knife Guy. We'll see a lot more of Gold Knife Guy later, where we have to fight him honest. Alright, and now we're about to get to the boss here soon. And it's totally not Bruce Lee. Okay, uh, this gets really bad. So you have to use jump kicks on this guy, and try to hit him out of his own attacks, although his hitboxes get wonky so that can be tough. But jump kicks are the only reliable way to fight this guy. Okay, that wasn't too bad, I'll take it. And see again, so we have to wait, still wait a fixed amount of time before the level ends. Bruce Lee. Alright, bonus game! So we have to destroy these motorcycles, and they drop items. The items are random to some extent. And there's already the 1-up, which is the most important thing. I'm really glad we get a 1-up here. Because that's not guaranteed to drop. And also max health, too. The game wanted to be nice to us here. So one of the things that makes King top tier is that his down heavy attacks are the best. Both the big boot and the knee are faster than other characters' equivalents for uh, heavy attacks. So that's why I use them so much. Notice how I'm trying to uh, balance uh, my attacks across the screen here, like from each side. I'll 
I'll get I'll pick up the knife to throw at Red Karate Guy because he sucks. I hate him very much. And look at this coming up here. So I was able to line up three of those guys. And I'll use grenades because uh, they can OTG. They can hit people on the ground. Wow. Oh god. What? I was getting the knee there for some reason. I'm trying to run away from these idiots. Uh, I tried a running special, but I dropped it. So what makes the running special so tricky to use is that if you run into an enemy during its startup, you actually take damage from it yourself. Okay, there's Gold Knife Guy. Oh god. He's super fast, he's ultra aggressive with his knife stabs. You have to hit him on his you hit him right as he gets up with jump attacks. Only reliable way to fight him. And I'm trying to knock him down right away. Knock down Gold Knife Guy immediately. And now I can running special him, which makes this a lot easier. Stack the damage with another character. And that's really good. Okay. Good time here. So, on this first elevator stop, obligatory beat him up elevator here, on the first stop, if you go to the left here, then uh, there's a health pickup. And if you get that health pickup there, it'll trigger something uh, very, very important on the next elevator stop. Now we see our debut of the soldiers here. These guys have guns, but uh, never actually fire them. And the gray ones are really fast, aggressive, and uh, have a lot of health. I'm just going to play it safe because off the left here, we get the 1-up. Super important to pick that up. You may notice that our score is at 91 also, so we're close to getting an, uh, another extra life from score here. Again, very, very important right now. You just want to keep using the big boot on these soldiers. Now that once that guy dies, we can scroll the screen over here. And there's that ding signaling an extend from score. And now I can set that up. You can see how quick, how much I'm relying on the big boot here. It's a great combination of speed and range. It's perfect for dealing with the soldiers. Oh my god, see, that flying kick does so much damage. Oh god. Um, I kind of botched that combo, but whatever. We're still good. And get the OTG grab here, because you get the free hit if you hit the boss before their dialogue. That's why I use the running special there. Anyway, she does these back dashes, and you have to punish them. Okay. Uh, she gets really annoying if you uh, if you ever let her breathe, which is why I try to lock her down with uh, punishing her back dashes and staying close to her. That's the guy who says you'll got a bomb in your park, by the way. Doesn't look like him, but it's supposed to be him. So this part's a random 50-50. You have to guess whether to land on the left or right side. One side has boxes to land on to break your fall, others don't. And we got really lucky and landed on the boxes. We would have lost like half of our life there if uh, that didn't happen. If we didn't guess right there. 
So we got uh, the Macho Man truckers here, even wearing the Macho Man colors, circa 1992. They have the most health of any mook in this game, and their flying elbow drop, no joke, takes like 80% of your life. Now I can set up running special there, and just skip past all this stuff. You don't want to be sandwiched in this game, even less so than usual in beat em ups because of how the running special works. Running special really, really awards, uh, rewards good enemy grouping. Ooh. Again, you never want to get hit by the elbow drop. Okay. So yeah, one of the things in this game is- oh, check this out. You can use your throw as anti-air on Macho Man there. Up next, we're gonna get Gold Knife Guy. So I want him to rush to us first, so we can hit him. Wow, barely enough space to running special him. I'm not even gonna risk a running special because of how fast he is. Okay, really good. Only dying once so far to this point is uh, in excellent shape. And now the to begin the fire escape. So this is one of the things this game is most well known for. So I'm trying to scroll the screen to spawn new enemies. But yeah, so normally only two enemies will attack you at once. But if you hit other enemies, you'll uh, you'll wake them up. Anyway, I'm going to use this as defense. And also to set up running special. The soldiers suck. Like, the gray soldiers, I hate those guys. Jump attacks are the safest way to deal with the Grey Knife guys, because even though they're a fairly entry-level enemy, they're pretty aggressive in breaking your combos. Ah, I got a little too greedy there. With the running special. And wait and do that. This is where I love the why I love the fire escape so much. Even though it's awful from a visual perspective to just use the same graphics over and over again here, it's really satisfying from a gameplay perspective. Like you just there's so many opportunities to just set up these big combos with the running special. Shit, I got the knee. Really, really. Oh, because that that's because of this game's uh, hit detection, the way it works. Uh. All right, we're anyway, we're uh, about to the end of this. And now we can running special. Okay. We're not done with this yet. Oh, no, sir. Oh, no, 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 no. Plenty more. Plenty more yet to go. Bad luck that the, that one last guy broke out of the, the, the line up there. At least we get this now. We can set it up on these guys. Uh, Karate Guy there could potentially block my attacks with his hitbox. Really lucky hit there, wow. Red Karate Guy could have been a big problem if we didn't get this set up. Yes, knock down gold knife guy. That's all I care about. Wow, wow, wow. I'm getting really lucky with the spacing on these uh, kicks. So you want to face toward an enemy and then move backwards for your jump kick since he can't turn around in midair.
And I'll Sky High Toss for funsies. Yeah, that was a little too risky. Oh god! Okay. Uh, that actually could have gone worse. Luckily, it's the blue guys. The blue guys ain't shit. Oh my god, I cannot believe I ran through that. Thought I was gonna get hit for sure there. I'll take it safe on these guys. Anyway, we just want to scroll. And I didn't, have, I didn't have the spacing right for the running special there. But I want to get all these guys on the left side now. Because all the new enemies are going to spawn from the left here. So just watch these chains I'm going to get. The only thing is, I do wish the game had some kind of scoring bonus for... Uh, like multi-kills or some kind of like running special chain type thing. I wish that tied into the score. That's one of the only things like this game is missing for me. Alright. And we're still not done yet. Oh no. Firescape's still not over. Ah, blue guy escaped there. The combo. This is still good. Plus, we got the two. We got. There's so many enemies here that we already got another extra life. Also, that guy just spawns from the right and dies instantly. I love that. It doesn't happen every time, but I love it when it does. Uh. Oh my God! Just barely avoided death there. Anyway, I got them lined up now correctly for this. Wow, the, the the delay on the <laughs> the blue the blue guy's stab actually got me there. Oh god, that guy blocked it. Okay, we recovered, we recovered. I got a little too greedy. And yes, orange guy, uh, he does the flying elbow drop, and it's the same thing as uh, Macho Man's, except he has a lot less health. So it's much easier to deal with. There we go. We're trying to get a kill so we can spawn more enemies here. I used the giant swing there for crowd control. Really handy. Now we can move over to the left here again. I like to do one big boot on those uh, soldiers. Wow, very, very lucky. We got that attack off in time. Okay, that was a little too greedy. Again, I'm taking it a little bit safe here. And then I want to set them up. I want to wake up the other guys when I can safely uh, get opportunities to set up running specials.
Uh, did not mean to pick him up there. And we can set this up now. Perfect. Near perfect, anyway. Alright. And there we go. Now it's time for the best boss in the game. Nice hot pants, buddy. So we knock him down, and then we delay hits. We knock him down. Let's see if I can get this hit. Yes! That's really hard to get. To hit him out of his breakdance. And then one more jump kick, one more throw. And rip macaw cam. He's really annoying if you don't know the speedrun strats. It took me a long time with save states to figure that out. He's very strange in his behavior. He has a lot of invincible moves. He wastes a lot of time. He has a he has a running grab that takes over half of your health. Yes! One up. Alright. Game tried with that one. Max health. Alright, we're in great shape here. Great shape on this credit. Even if I don't get another one up, this is still fantastic. And again, the, the game just gives you a free running special setup there. Jump kick to kill that guy. Running special these other guys. And that's a triple kill right there. Uh, we're gonna play up. We're gonna run up against the uh, Footsie's pimp here. I hate Footsie's pimp. Luckily, he's the only one of these left in the game. But he spaces himself just outside of your attack range really, really well. Which is why I call him Footsie's Pimp. Yes, get this set up. Because there's two Macho Men here. Actually, oh my god, dude. Dude, I got all the truckers set up. I've never gotten it like this before. Okay, guess it couldn't last forever. Wow, that was a really fast section there. I've never done it like that. These guys, okay. Do you see the two gold knife guys there? Here's what we do. We drop kick them from behind this uh, this door here. And that's gonna hit all of them. Or it should anyway. All right. I think one of these is a health pickup. I don't need it, but I was gonna scroll it off the screen anyway, so I might as well pick it up now. This knife I'll just throw, it's fine. Throw knives do a lot of damage. Okay, we're gonna get gold knife guy coming in soon, so gotta be ready for that. Gotta get that knife drop too. And I'm just gonna keep using running special here. Oh, I think the other guy fell off. So that's why that guy activated. Whoa, I got, a, I got two points for killing him. How the hell did that happen? So this jump here is really hard, normally, if you're on the conveyor belt. But if you stand in this little strip in between the two conveyor belts, much easier jump. You lose like half your yeah, half your health if you miss that, by the way. And these guys, uh... Uh, shit. Oh god, Macho Man actually survived. Never mind, he didn't survive. I think we uh, lost the other guy, though. Okay, Golden Knife Guy. Um, I was just gonna wait for Golden Knife Guy to do his thing. Uh, play this carefully. Gold Knife Guy, there's no other way to fight him except carefully. And try not to scroll the screen too much. There's more later, too. Alright. Oh, God. Conveyor belts make these fights really hairy. So tough to get your spacing right on these.
I'll use the giant swing for safety. And this throw for safety. It's all a uh, splash damage to Gold Knife Guy, too. Alright, we're almost at the end of the stage, thankfully. Boss coming up here, and let's see if I can get this quick kill. Hi, Japanese John Cena. One, two, three. One, two, one. Uh. Wow, how did I not get hit there? Those barrels do a shitload of damage. They can OTG you. But I, I have to keep hitting this guy with big boots. Sometimes he'll die here. Sometimes you go to the next phase of the fight. And I did not get the quick kill this time, unfortunately. He's not going to have too much health left, but um, this is going to get tricky now. Hey, I don't know how to consistently avoid that. Yeah, see? Yeah, that's what happens with this guy. Okay, okay. We made it, we made it, we made it. That fight was a blow-up, but that's why I'm glad we had those extra lives in reserve from earlier. I'm glad I had- I, I played a- I played a very clean stage 5 going into that fight. Which is why we could afford that. Uh... Take out Gold Knife Guy now. And do as much damage to him as we can now. Running special him now. I'm gonna save that health pickup. Gold Knife Guy actually didn't wake up there. Usually he does. Anyway, running special these fools. Fortunately, uh, this gold knife guy always drops a one-up. Can you use this knife here? Knife does heavy damage, it's very good. We go. And the grenades are going to be very, very handy. And we need to running special the gray soldiers. Those guys are the worst. So yeah, we just got a one-up pickup, and now we get another score extend. This will be our last score extend of the run. But you see, you see we're already back up to the amount of lives we had before John Cena. Uh, that was not good. Okay, I'm glad he jumped. Giving me space, giving me space. I need space. Okay, we're gonna use, uh, try to use a lot of grenades here. You want to take out Grey Soldier first, for sure. But yeah, the only enemies in the whole rest of this stage are the soldiers here. And I use the Giant Swing because you're invincible during it. So, again, great crowd control tool. Okay, got that one, that's good. And one thing to note, a lot of the bosses in this game have really good, like, rotoscoped animation. Um, it, it reminds a lot of people of, like, you know, the older King of Fighters games. Except this was way before King of Fighters. It's very impressive, like... Some parts of this game show impressive amount of effort, other parts suggest the game was rushed. For example, uh, you know, not having any actual sprites for the power-ups. So they literally just have the word of, of uh, what they do. Things like that, you know. Okay. 
Dungeon. Oh, the anti-air. Another great line here. No! No, no. Okay, good. Got the knockdown. Because this guy is just nothing but junk kicks and throws. Junk kick him on his wake up. Throw him. And just repeat this. Did not want to lose another life on this guy. That should be it. Yes! Okay, good. Was a beat Takeshi with two samurai swords, not smoking a blunt though, as far as we know. And uh, he's really cheap if you don't know the AI glitch for him that I just did there. Also, my favorite music in the game right here. I just wanted to uh, let the music speak for itself in the final level there. Plus, it's just a boss rush, so not much new there. Last boss is really easy when you know the trick, but he's stupidly cheap 
if you don't, because he is his sword, his crazy range, deals a ton of damage, and he also has a parry that stops all of your attacks and also does a lot of damage to you if you make contact with it. So, that's why you have to know the trick. You have to do exactly... Once you do four running specials to the boss, his AI changes, and that's when you can pin him in the corner and cheese him out like I did there. That's the only good strat I know of for, for that guy. All right. Well, that was Didi Crew. Uh, my, uh, you know, I guess like a, a speed run to some extent here. I know, I know the boss strats and stuff, so hopefully it was a good show for y'all. And uh, that's it for me in this marathon. So once again, huge thank you to uh, Retro Omega and Ant and Kong and Mr. Magnificent, all the rest of the Retro Gaming Live staff. Um, L Rock, of course, also one of the people handling the restreaming and everything. Huge thanks to all of you for doing that. So really appreciate it. Appreciate you putting this together on really short notice, too. It was just out of nowhere that, you know, this marathon started. So really glad we were able to do what we, do what we have done here. And uh, yeah, stay tuned for uh, great stuff from Aquas. Hell of a player, and he'll give you a hell of a show. And with that, see you later.